why are you seeing blank landing pages in Google Analytics 4? In this measurement minute, we're going to show you what those blank landing pages are, how to discern uh, where they're coming from, and kind of a workaround to kind of put your fear at ease and maybe your clients or stakeholders or anyone else who's in there possibly thinking that something is wrong. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So we have here our insider reports and then engagement landing page. This is actually only released um, a few weeks ago, so still fairly new. And we had another measurement minute showing you how to actually access this if it doesn't automatically pop up. For those that have older accounts, so go check that out if you haven't already seen that and you're trying to figure out how to get to this. So in this particular measurement minute, we're going to talk about what in the world is going on here. So we see this number. We it's like, OK, it has stuff. People are doing things here, but I'm not seeing the landing page. And landing page is basically the first page of the session when Google Analytics, the platform, recognizes that this is the first page of the session. So, you know, people like think, oh, something's broken here. Something's double firing. There's, you know, what's going on? Well, guess what? We're going to come click in here and say we're going to do landing page plus query string. And I hear you. I hear you. I, you know, you're telling me, well, wait, we're seeing landing page here. And yeah, that's correct. But we want to see landing page plus query string. And you can see the difference. So what we're seeing here is our blank, which is here. And then we see the slash. What does that mean? Well, we'll get to that in a moment. You can kind of ponder that. Um, and then we go down to this next one. It's member with no slash at the end. And then the slash member, exactly what we're seeing over here, then another slash. And then we go over here. And then we see all of this stuff at the end. So what is going on? Well, landing page plus query string, all of this stuff, this slash and everything behind, and the way our site is built is the query string. So the, what is what are the blanks? Well, this is actually the home page. For those of you that have been uh, with us since Universal Analytics, you know this little slash without anything is the home page. And same thing is going on with Google Analytics 4. So this is perfectly fine for us because we have one main site measurementmarketing.io and so it's okay for the home page if you have multiple home like sites like maybe you have you know super cool site one and super cool site two and all of these other things and then so they're going to kind of get grouped in here um, you can go in here and change your other dimension here so, so we can say host name and so that way you can see and discern if there's a different host name doing that there. So that way you can go ahead and put your fear at ease in any of your client or stakeholders, whoever else is in Google Analytics and let them know, hey, nothing is actually broken. It is just kind of the way this field is set. I kind of have a feeling Google might end up fixing this because that's probably causing a lot of concerns and possibly maybe by default, it would be the landing page plus query string over here. And if you want to go ahead and set that, remember we've done other videos that show you how to customize, but we're gonna show you real quick here. You can always come through here and instead of um, landing page you can type in landing page plus query string and then you could choose this one set as default and so now this one is the default we can even have this move down and we can apply and we have this now and if I choose to save and I say save changes to current report it's going to save changes to everybody and meaning I want to go ahead and say save we're going to follow through again super quick because this is only a measurement it just want to get you going and back to where we were and so now we are still here under landing page this is everyone who has access to this particular property would see the exact same way so now if your clients stakeholders whoever's coming in here they're not going to see the blank stuff anymore they do get to see all this other parameters but they don't get to see blank and freak out because something's blank then you can always switch it if you need to see back to everything a little bit more clean you have that so you are welcome this is your measurement minute and we'll see you next time take care